Hello guys, Robotrix is back with another video on robotics. Today I'll tell you what DH parameter is, commonly known as DH convention. Before starting it, let us look at what forward kinematics is. As I've told earlier, forward kinematics links or gives a relationship between the individual joints of the robot manipulator and the position. Forward kinematics links the theta of the manipulator with the position it needs to reach. In forward kinematics, we give out the theta values of the manipulator in order to reach the position. That is, the theta value is fixed and the position is what we are going to check. Whereas in inverse kinematics, we define the position where we want to reach and instead we calculate the theta values of the manipulator. Now let us look at what DH convention is. This convention links the homogeneous transformation AI with the four basic transformations to find out the forward kinematics. So if we know the four basic transformation of the manipulator, we can find out its forward kinematics. What are the four basic transformations? That is rotation at an angle of theta with respect to Z, then translation along Z for a value of di, and similarly, rotation of x for an angle of alpha and translation of x for a value of ai. So now, what are those four parameters? That is, what is ai, what is alpha i, what is di, and what is theta i? ai is the link length of the manipulator. Alpha i is the link twist, that is, the angle it will move. di is the link offset, and theta i is the joint angle between the two, that is the when a manipulator has two links, the angle between them. So now let's finally derive the rotational matrix. We have here rotation of Z for an angle of theta I. I've already taught you how to attain this and all the four matrix similarly. When we multiply all the four matrices, we attain to a formula comprising of AI, alpha I, DI and theta I. This final matrices is known as the homogeneous transformation AI and it's also known as the DH matrix. When you multiply it, you'll get something like this. I would recommend that you go ahead and solve it on your own to get a better insight into it. Now let's look at the parallel elbow manipulator. We have already derived the forward kinematics of this with the geometrical approach. Now let's look at a more basic and more fundamental approach of DH convention. So let's start. We here know that the link length for the manipulator is A1 and A2. That is for link 1, it is A1 and for link 2, it is A2. When we go to find out the link twist, here basically we don't have any link twist since it's basically defined at that position. So we define it as 0 and 0. Similarly, we don't even have a translation of both the links and we have D1 and D2 as 0. What we have here is the joint angle, that is joint, the angle between the links, that is theta1 between A1 and the x-axis and theta2 between the original A1 and A2 link. When we put it into the both the link formula that is A1 homogeneous transformation and A2 homogeneous transformation you simply put the values of that is cos theta 1 sin theta 1 A1 cos theta 1 alpha 1 sin theta 1 and similarly for cos theta 2 sin theta 2 and so on when you receive this both the matrices A1 and A2 what we need to do to find out the forward kinematics is really important we know that T1 with respect to the 0th frame is A1 because it's a homogeneous matrix. But we want to find out when T2 with respect to the 0th frame, it will be T1 with respect to 0th frame and A2. That is our final matrices will be A1 into A2. You go ahead, solve it on your own and find out this matrices. When you find out this matrices, you will understand that forward kinematics for x will be 
a1 cos theta 1 plus a2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 and for y it will be a1 sin theta 1 plus a2 sin theta 1 plus theta 2. For z we don't have a value over here and therefore it will be a 0. This is exactly similar to what we arrived by doing it geometrically. So good luck. Thank you. Probometrics.